The Ukraine-Russia war, the anticipation of a giant economic recession, the problems COVID-19 left the world with, climate change, and energy shock are all growing at a very rapid pace. Food prices are rising more and more every single day, and many economists think that this trend is only going to continue in the future, and prices are not expected to fall anytime soon. Even hoarding food supplies for the hard times ahead would be very difficult because of the extremely high prices of food. Even the unemployment rates are expected to go higher and higher as businesses lose their customers. With no employment, rising housing costs, as well as extremely high food prices, it is anticipated that millions and millions of households will have absolutely nothing to survive off of. Most people have been ignorant up until now, but we hope that this video can be an eye-opener for all of you. Most economists say that the next economic recession is going to come very soon, and we are already able to see some signs of it, like the falling prices of shares and whatnot. These economists and market analysts think that the upcoming economic recession is going to bring food insecurity as well as food shortages, ultimately leading to catastrophe. These food shortages and the food insecurity is going to be as bad as the one people saw during the time of the Great Depression. But while most people tend to ignore the forecasts made by these economists, which can ultimately be life-changing thinking, that the economists are being extremely paranoid and want to spread fear amongst people for their own reasons, this might not be true. Even as of now, most families do not have a stable access to food supplies and they rely on government-run schemes and some even rely on charities just so that they are able to fill their stomachs. The United States government created an inflation crisis themselves during the COVID-19 pandemic, and now they are trying to fight it. At this point, most of the businesses across the world, whether big or small, are lurking extremely close to running out of cash. This will lead to massive layoffs, which will leave many people unemployed. This is just going to be another step in amplifying the effect of another great economic recession. Wages in the recent past have only risen by around 5%, while the food prices have skyrocketed, seeing a 15% rise. All this is leading us towards another Great Depression and, of course, it will lead to massive food insecurity and food shortages, and many people are not going to be able to purchase food supplies easily. Ukraine is one of the top exporters of wheat, maize, barley, sunflower, as well as crop fertilizers, and with the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the war has led the world into an extremely bad food crisis. The Russians have been destroying all of the infrastructure of Ukraine, like roads, railways, and ports, which were being used to supply and export food supplies and other products to other countries, as well as supply food throughout their own country. Ukraine is an extremely important country when it comes to the business of exporting food grains and other agricultural supplies globally. But the Russian invasion of Ukraine has made it almost impossible for the Ukrainians to supply food across their country as well as to the other countries. Food trade has come to an absolute standstill and there is a very sharp decline in the circulation of Ukrainian food grains across the globe. Ukraine has been trying very hard to keep their economy on track as a major chunk of their economy is simply based upon food and other agricultural products being exported to other countries. But, despite their best efforts, the country only manages to export one-third of the 4.5 million grain it used to export monthly under normal circumstances. 20 million tons of agricultural and food grains are left stuck in the ports of Ukraine, which many believe will ultimately lead to massive food shortages across the globe since many countries are dependent upon the Ukrainian food supplies. Due to the war in Ukraine, the agriculture and food industry has taken a very hard hit. The places where food grain production can take place are growing less and less in number as they become active war zones in the country. But not only that, the places where food grains can be stored are also growing less and less each day. Most people, including economists, agricultural scientists, and market analysts think that it is very likely that Ukraine would not be able to produce much of the food grains during the winter months, and its winter yield is going to be extremely low. The United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization think that the war between Russia and Ukraine will create a huge supply gap, 
and this will mean that the food prices are most likely going to be much higher in the near future than normal pre-war prices. Most people think that the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has been worse than its health impact. Economists and agricultural experts think that the COVID-19 disease has killed hundreds of thousands of people across the globe, but due to a break in the supply chains and a hike in prices that happened during the COVID-19 pandemic, millions of more people can now be dead just because of hunger. Many experts believe that the hunger pandemic could be far more dangerous and lethal than the COVID-19 pandemic itself. More than two years since the coronavirus pandemic first broke out, we have seen a very sharp economic decline due to lockdowns and closure of borders, markets, and even entire businesses, which has pushed a very large chunk of people into poverty and hunger, especially those who are the most disadvantaged amongst all. The COVID-19 pandemic left the world with mass unemployment, as well as extremely disrupted food chains and very low food production levels, which has caused a hike of about 40% in the food prices all across the world. It is estimated that more than 40 million people across the globe have experienced severe and extreme levels of hunger majorly due to economic decline and shock, which was caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. While many people may believe that the markets are starting to bounce back, and some markets have even fully recovered from the recession that the COVID-19 pandemic brought along with it, this is very, very far from the truth. The numbers that we have seen in the year 2022 so far have been a clear indication that the economy of most countries has still not been able to recover from the vices that the COVID-19 global pandemic brought along with itself. There is a near 70% increase in the number of people who have been pushed into poverty and hunger this year in comparison to the previous year of 2021. The above three factors, the anticipated 2023 economic recession, the war between Russia and Ukraine, and the COVID-19 global pandemic, are the major factors which have led to global food shortages and food insecurity amongst people. Based on the food trend as of now, countries like Turkey, Lebanon, Argentina, Algeria, Egypt, Jordan, Sri Lanka, Tunisia, Bosnia, and Herzegovina, and Nigeria are at the most risk of facing an extremely bad situation of food shortage and food insecurity amongst people. Just recently, the Secretary General of the United States, Antonio Gutierrez, warned the world of a catastrophe because of the growing global hunger pandemic and the food shortages. He said that the year 2022 is bad enough as it is, but the year 2023 can be even worse. The countries that are the hunger hotspots of the world are mostly in the African continent. Countries like South Sudan, Ethiopia, Somalia, Yemen, Afghanistan, Sri Lanka, Algeria, and Tunisia are some of the most hungry countries in the world, as more and more people struggle to get food supplies for themselves. Global food shortages may kill millions and millions of people in the near future. It is the best that all of us stay prepared.